Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. We're down in Daytona Beach at the National Reptiles Breeders Expo. As always, this is one of the biggest shows of the year, and that means there's a lot of cool animals, and I'm gonna show you around the show. You're watching Snake Bites. The first table I had to stop at was my good friend Ryan over at Underground Reptiles because he has some incredible animals. This three quarter blue and one quarter red albino tegu really caught my eye. I've always been a tegu fan, but the albinos are just absolutely gorgeous. And again, these guys are gonna get really big, but they stay really plastic, so they make great animals. And I think Ryan's actually gonna show us how to hatch a tegu egg. What I'm looking for is his body. I just gotta touch his body so great. I feel his his nose or his hip, something in there. And I'm just trying to rub it and break that memory. And once it breaks, he's gonna cut his way out. There it goes. Here it goes. Oh, that's so cool. Here he comes. Oh, how cool is it? That's so cool. That was the coolest thing ever. I get tons of people always asking me to highlight hog nose snakes. And when I came by my buddy Chad's booth, I was absolutely blown away by this monster hog nose. It's actually an azanth. The girl weighs 720 grams. I don't think I have a hog nose in my collection that weighs more than 400 grams. So he's got me almost doubled. But I want to do a quick montage of some really cool hog nose that I'm seeing at his table and at the show. To start off, this is a recessive mutation called hypo hog nose. How old is Satan, the Burmese python? A, five years old, B, seven years old, or C, 11 years old? Answer with a comment and keep watching to see if you're right. I have to stop and show you guys these caiman lizards. They're really something that almost seems like a made up animal. They've got the alligator look and a lizard body and they're so prehistoric with that incredibly cool colored head. What's interesting about these guys is that they mainly eat snails, but fortunately if you keep them as a pet, they actually sell snail diet that's really easy and convenient. And as you can see, they're just super tame. I tell you what, it's, it's amazing to me that these aren't more popular animals in the pet trade, because as you can see, these obviously make incredible pets. Pets. The last few years I've highlighted albino alligators and it's my buddy Sean Hefleck from the Nat Geo show Python Hunters that's breeding these guys. As a matter of fact, there's some baby albino alligators hatching right now at the show. But I tell you what, holding one of these guys, it's hard to describe what an amazing experience it is.
This is a southern white lip python. They're typically known as the black phase, and they get a little bit bigger than the golden phase, which stays a little bit smaller, and they're typically more aggressive. But I think you can tell with this animal that it still has a little bit of aggression issues with it. Yeah, I proved that one. This has to be one of the coolest animals in the show to me. I'm a huge Woma Python fan, so you know I'm gonna love black-headed pythons. Now, black-headed pythons do get larger than Woma Pythons, and of course, this isn't a normal black-headed python. It's an azanthic, which is a recessive mutation. It's just absolutely stunning. Now, the thing with these guys is that it's a little bit different with Womas, is you don't wanna feed them nearly as much. If you get them too fat, they don't do well and oftentimes don't breed, but I tell you what, it's amazing to hold something as cool as this. Another really cool snake are Bismarck ring pythons. They have a really cool iridescence to them. And what's amazing, when these babies hatch out, they're literally bright orange and black. As they get older, they get a little bit more dull, but they're still amazing animals. These used to be relatively common 10 or 12 years ago, but now you never see them. As a matter of fact, this is the only one at the show. Yusuke from Samurai Reptiles is really doing some cutting edge stuff with Argentine horn frogs. This extreme red ornate animal is just mind blowing and there's just tons of them that he's working with. I love horn frogs because they're just really incredible animals. They just have these huge big mouths and they're like a little job of the hut. And now that these cool colors are coming out, I think there's a big future in this market. There's some really cool lizards here, but these very well may take the cake. These are a Bronia tyanita, or an arboreal alligator lizard. These guys are from northern Guatemala and Mexico, way up in the mountains. And as you can see, they're sexually dimorphic because the females look much darker than the males. Now there's about 30 species of arboreal alligator lizards, and these are just one of them. A lot of people make the mistake of keeping them too warm. They really need to be kept between 65 and 75 degrees. They can handle a few hours of warm weather but you want to definitely keep them cool and they have live young. I tell you what, these are just incredible animals. This may be a little lizard, but it's really something that's really cool. They call these pink tongue skinks, and you guys know that I'm a fan of blue tongue skinks. These look like miniature blue tongue skinks, and of course they get their name because they have pink tongues, but what's interesting is that as babies, they actually have blue tongues just like the bigger version of them. Now these, just like the blue tongue skinks, will have live babies, but they only get about six or eight inches long, so they're a much smaller animal. All right, so when we were in Tinley at the NARBC, we had Justin Mites do a cool magic trick. He kind of made a... Tell me what it was again. I don't know, remember, you gave me a dollar bill. Yeah, and it turned, turned into, into a, a million. million. You bought like a really rare tortoise, and you was upset because it turned back into a one. It was a exactly. nightmare. Yeah. So do you, have, you want to do another money trick? Yeah, yeah. Be better need, this time. You need some money, or? You know what? I, I actually used yours last time. We used mine, okay? Okay. That's cool. That's all right. All right. So we'll see what we actually have here. Let's see what we got. We've got uh, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, right? Well, it looked like, looks like $1 bills to me. It is $1 bills, but that's, that's okay. It's cool. I can make it look like more money. See, if I go like this, I go like that. That's called recoiling. It actually looks like more money, right? How much does that look like? Like $5. Wow, that's, that's not good. That's, that's all right. We'll, we'll make it better, okay? We'll make it better. Just watch the ones right there. Watch the ones right there, okay? Just watch the ones, all right? We'll try to do a little bit better. Watch. Just like that. You can add some zeros to them. It's a little bit better trick, right? And then you actually have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Josh, no, no, no. You don't understand. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't give that to you. That's good. But well, you know what? This trick wasn't very good at all. You, that trick wasn't good? No. I can give you, uh, you can learn that trick, though. It takes 24 I hours, but I'll give you one of my cards. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing Justin Mice people.
We're heading into fall now and that just happens to be my favorite season because the cooler temperatures and the pretty colors everywhere, what's not to love about it? Whereas Brian is more of a summer guy, he likes the warm temperatures, hates the bitter cold. I want to know what's your guys' favorite time of the year? Leave a comment below and let us know. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. As always, there were some truly amazing animals in there and it certainly was my pleasure to show them off to you guys. If you ever want to see live what's going on, I'm always tweeting pictures. So make sure to follow me over at Snake Bites TV. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites. So how old is Satan? Well, if you guessed five years old, you are absolutely correct. Nice job. I've got a little squirrel monkey here. And he's kind of a little bit nuts. He like doesn't want to slow down, but it's still just cool to be able to play with a monkey. Here, here's one of peanut bill guys. Actually, I'd like it better if it was a hundred. Can you make it into a hundred? No problem, here, hundred dollar bill. He wants a hundred dollar bill. All right, let's see here. Fold this up, is that okay?